I'm not a lawyer, but today the judge ruled on a number of motions in the YSL trial. So let me go through and recap what they all were for you. First up, if you watched these videos, you know that Brian Steele and Max Sharp actually filed a motion for lyrics and music videos to be inadmissible in this trial based on a recent ruling where the Georgia Supreme Court overturned a conviction because of the improper and prejudicial use of a music video. Today, Max Sharp actually played clips of what he wants to be excluded from this trial on behalf of his client, Shannon Stilwell. So after hearing everyone's arguments, the judge ruled that the Baker case is different than the YSL case for many reasons, and therefore he denied the motion to exclude lyrics and videos from this trial. For the above reasons the court uh, cited, I'm going to deny Mr. Williams' uh, motion to limit, um, supplemental motion limiting in, regard, in regards to uh, number two, as well as Mr. Schartz, on behalf of Mr. Stilwell's motion to exclude irrelevant and prejudicial audio and video, as well as the motion limiting to strike regarding the strong lyrics. Next up, the judge ruled on the motion filed by Yak Gotti's attorney to limit the number of witnesses from the state because according to him, at the current rate, the state won't be done with their presentation until at least October, 2026. In response to this, the judge says he has five solutions. And here's what I'm going, here's what I'm going to do. On Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we're gonna start at 845 and reclaim a little bit of time. That's number one. There's five things I'm gonna implement. Two is going to be the exclusion of any evidence, documents, or or pictures that weren't that aren't timely disclosed. Discovery that's not submitted in a timely manner will be excluded. If not, I have remedies. The remedy I'll exclude it, or I'm going to excuse the jurors on the spot, and we're going to we're going to, they're going to come back the next day, and we're going to work to resolve that. So that's three. Number four is I have spoken with our sheriff. And consistent with the uh, court, if I need, if necessary, need be, we'll start having court on Saturday and Sunday. If he has court on Saturdays and Sundays, I'm not covering that. Just so y'all know. Yeah, well, that's my that's my call. So if you don't want your Saturday and Sunday sucked up, I think we need to work a little harder in terms of being able to streamline, and that goes to both sides. And and look, I don't want to work that way too, because it, it, it's me and my staff and my team and the sheriff and his team and everything else, but we will do it. The last remedy, and I don't say this being being otherwise mean and contrary and everything else, but I have, is, is there, I do have the, I have power of contempt. I don't want to use that. I don't, but it's come down. We've been in trial a long time. I think I've been very clear with everybody about my expectations, which serve you all and your ability as advocates in this case to be how to try the best case you have. In relation to this, the judge also asked Attorney Love how much longer she anticipates the presentation of her case will take. Now, back to my original original um, ask, Miss Love, how many, how many more days do you think that you'll have? We think about 150 witnesses, Your Honor, um, and 120 days. That's four months? Um, I do have some concerns about 120 days of trial time. Um, that's going to take almost four months. And, you know, I'll remind the state, you told me, or Ms. Hilton told me, that's going to take about six months. At this rate, it's going to be 12 months. And that doesn't include anything that the defense may choose to, I mean, I'm, t I'm, I'm concerned about your case in chief at this point in time. The defense will present whatever they wish to do with, and I'll deal with it. We'll deal with it accordingly. So there were a few other motions, one about PB Roscoe's plea deal that was related to the Little Wayne tour bus situation. That plea deal apparently includes Thug's name, and so Brian Steele does not want it admitted into the trial. The judge rules that if the plea deal is actually admitted into evidence, he told Attorney Love that she will have to redact Young Thug's name from it. And then the last thing, the judge says that there will be a hearing on Thursday regarding Brian Steele's motion for attorney love to be recused from this case. Ms. Love, if you could follow, or you and your team or the state file a response 
um, no later than the, than by five o'clock on the third of, yes, of April, and I will take up that motion at nine thirty on April the fourth. Yes, sir. So we will see how that goes.